Unfortunately, they were the ones who are running the operation against the Syrian people. We know that they are the top leaders uh, of the intelligence, of the army, and uh, they are the planners of what is going on. We know from the leaks that were uh, shown on many television channels uh, that many documents showed that they were planning day by day, uh, perhaps hour by hour, what, uh, what should be done to crush the revolution and kill uh, the, the revolution uh, and, and uh, plan uh, every move uh, from the north to the south with the shelling, with aeroplanes, with everything. So we know now that this is, has become a vacuum and uh, it's not so easy to, to fill it because you have uh, to, to find people who have been trained and who have the experience to do that. So I think that this is a big turn in the, in the, in the way of uh, winning the revolution. Well, uh, let me say first that uh, Bashar Assad is in a dilemma. He has been in a dilemma since the revolution started. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to behave. And that's why we see so much br brutality and we see so much uh, confusion, actually, by, uh, because nobody in his right mind would shell his own people and send aeroplanes to, to bombard t cities and towns. And now uh, I think he has one choice, to give up and leave the country. Otherwise, he will have the same... Uh, destiny like Gaddafi and even worse, it might be even worse than that. We are determined to support the revolutionaries inside because we believe that they are the only ones who can really make the future of Syria they, to determine how this is going to be end, to be uh, uh, the end. Now we know that there are so many diplomatic and political moves in the Security Council and elsewhere in, in, in uh, many important countries. Uh, but uh, let me tell you the truth: those people on the grounds are those who are going to determine how it's going to end and who is going to be the. the the leader or the leaders of Syria. I think that uh, the end is soon because this, what happened, has given a big uh, morale uh, push to the revolutionaries and also it has de uh, deteriorated the morale of the, uh, those who are fighting on the side of Assad. So we have seen many defections yesterday, we have seen many uh, army divisions uh, leaving their posts and leaving the, even their tanks and, and vehicles and, and everything and just running away. So I think the, the, the end is going to be very soon.